I guess I'll introduce myself first. Uh, yeah. I'm Giacomo. Uh, I write for Digital Arts Online. Uh, I guess I'm speaking to Yasu. Um, so you are Head of Digital Creativity at Dentsu and Executive Creative Director. Uh, just a general yes. question. How is Dentsu at the moment? Has it been quite affected by coronavirus? Is it quite busy or... Uh, yeah, we just yeah, gradually restart the, um, to yeah to new normal. Not not normal yet, but we yeah just restarted our um, working mainly remotely, but yeah resuming as new normal. But still struggling how to yeah fit in the new way of working yeah. in creatively. Yes. There's lots going on in creativity, and obviously we're speaking about the awards today. So my first question mm -hmm. about um, DNAD today: um, you, you host, I mean, you you judge for a lot of awards around the world. I've noticed. I'm just wondering yes. what, uh, in your opinion, what makes the DNAD awards so different, and what makes uh, winning a pencil so special? For me, uh, DNAD is a very special. Mm. So only extraordinary work can win the. Pencil, yellow pencil, black pencil, graphite pencil. So it's not just uh, celebrating a famous case, but it is, it is always indicating the new direction of our creativity. So I think it's very exciting to find the one mm, as a jury member. What do you think it takes to win a pencil? To win pencil? Uh, for me, if we can win a pencil, it, it is a, a kind of certificate um, to um, show that our direction is good, our direction is right. You are always trying to create a, a new experiment, mm -hmm. but we are not sure the direction is good or not. But if we can win the pencil, it, it proves that the direction is good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we can yeah go forward in the direction without any yeah any yeah doubt mm. yeah yeah it's a great honor to win one um i was looking at this year's winning entries for digital and i was just struck by you know it's such a broad and it's such a, a ever-evolving category and i'm just wondering yes. what does digital what does digital mean to you personally how would you summarize it today in 2020 yeah actually digital is very exciting so now mm. digital is everywhere so all the advertising entry has digital part of mm. so some people think digital is just technology some people think digital is for efficiency but for me digital has a, a huge potential to upgrade our humanity so mm. with digital technology and the right idea we uh, people can upgrade their ability and people can participate in the society or people can has a power have a power to say something um yeah like that so with uh, through mix of idea and technology um it has a, a potential to make people upgraded mm. i love this phrase that it upgrades humanity and that leads into one of my other questions i was struck by how many socially conscious projects were among the winning entries this year. And I'm just wondering, um, in this day and age, obviously there's a lot of heated discussion, there's a lot of protests happening in 2020. I'm wondering um, how, how can digital help us become more socially conscious? What kind of part can digital play in changing the world, upgrading our humanity? As we know, the digital has a um, difficult part in it. So on social media, a lot of people are, saying negative things or hate sending hate messages and people are afraid of using yeah afraid of data they don't want to give data to company or government so yeah this has a lot of difficult part mm -hmm. but um together with the idea and together with the um proper ethics uh, we can go for the society using digital power mm -hmm. so like um together with social media to, and together with a proper idea, um, people can say, uh, yeah, participate in a good way to change the society. So like uh, one of the winning entry, um, go back to Africa, mm. and they change the negative tweet into a positive one. In the 400 years since enslaved Africans were first brought to America, We've been told to go back. Quote, they should get back on a ship and go back to Africa. 
that we don't belong. Why don't you go back to Africa where you belong? Go back to Africa! Told by elected officials. Go back to Africa! Told more than once every three minutes online. But what if we could tell a different story about what it means to go back to Africa? Them got me sinyanja ba fana ba keba Beating down in yambo kubeka Rap on the down in yambo beba Body ku wama ni yambo kumeka My head rako paka pena mo mega Body wa jeba ni yambo jeka This is Go Back to Africa A pan-African tourism campaign for black and abroad That hijacks real hate as it happens in real time on Twitter Erases the racist context And displaces it with the positive vision of Africa Through hyper-targeted ads for each of Africa's 54 countries but we had another problem. For black people to want to go to Africa, we need to be able to see ourselves there. And most of the people who appear in mainstream travel imagery are white. So we developed an algorithm that pulls hundreds of thousands of travel images from Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, uses Google Vision AI to find the ones likely to contain black travelers, analyzes and tags the content, and pulls them into GoBackToAfrica.com a first-of-its-kind socially-sourced content platform of aspirational black travel from Algeria to Zimbabwe. And a lot of, pe a lot of people, a lot of black people could get the confidence and get a pride about their, yeah, living. And, and as a result, the um, tourism to African country um, was very really successful. They could get a lot of new business, and the, the marketing result was successful. And also, black people could have a power and uh, pride about their uh, living. So, like that. So, together with the proper idea, we can yeah, change the society using digital. Mm -hmm. um, um, would you say that the the Back to Africa campaign was an example of the trends you saw this year, or are there many different kinds of trends and themes you saw in digital this year, like certain kind of repeating elements? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, there are some trends in digital industry, but yeah, as I mentioned, the Go Back to Africa the one was a trend to make to show the power power of people, not just big company can have a have power, but now using digital, huh. each individual individual can have a power to participate in the society. So, uh -huh. the Go Back to Africa case was one of the case which shows the trend of power of people. Would you say that this year's entries have shown that the relationship between the consumer and the brand, the big companies that you mentioned, is changing? Is it a bit more playful? Is the consumer now more independent, as you say? Um, yeah, the relationship is changing. So um, company need to be more yeah, closer, yeah, actually closer to people. So, and pe now in the digital world, people has a good hearing and a good sight um, because they are only always connected. So um, company need to be closer to the consumers and need to change the relationship, not just um, telling the great things, good good things, but show the action mm, or provide the opportunity to participate in the action together with the brand. Mm -hmm. So the relationship is much more closer. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned that digital, you know, incorporates. You can incorporate social, you incorporate data, AI, animation, AR. I'm just wondering for you personally and also professionally, what elements are most exciting for you to mix together for a digital campaign? What kind of things do you love to see mix? Yes. So personally, I, I want to make all the digital case much more emotional, not just mm. Mm, um, not just only using technology, AI, um, not just for efficiency, but I believe so um, digital can much more emotional, not just uh, functional. Mm. Mm. And some, some entry has a really emotional, like, uh, for example, the Burger King's Stephen Age case. Yeah, it, it was a really successful one to make people excited about using the weakest team in the UK to, to make the weakest team as a strongest in the digital space. And a lot of people enjoy playing with that. So like that, this, this, that was a really emotional and crazy, interesting digital case. 
that's yeah. I, I love those kind of yeah ideas mm. there are so many categories in digital because it is such a broad church i just wonder which categories gave the most interesting entries this year for me um this year uh e-commerce was the one with the interesting subcategory mm. so because normally e-commerce is only for sales efficiency but this year we could find find a great um, creative case e-commerce case um like uh for example uh kfc's pocket franchise was make mm -hmm. everyone has a store of kfc on mm -hmm. their social account or also uh nike's air max graffiti store in brazil to make the graffiti as a entrance of the nike shops mm. mm -hmm. yeah another one is a big issue the big issue is pay it forward so people can yeah, yeah um pay yeah you you can sell big issue for the homeless people and the payment was chained and every payment is sent to the homeless people so it's a kind of a new invention of chain payment so mm -hmm. there is a lot of yeah innovative e-commerce case this year mm. I also noticed a trend that like there's a lot of like uh, child friendly projects this year. There was a storybook app. There was a use of a socially conscious use of Minecraft. I noticed uh, there was toys, for example, in one project. Was that a trend that you noticed, uh, or did I just uh, you know get the wrong impression? But it seemed to be a bit more child friendly attitude this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that is the one of the uh, easier, easy way to um, engage with um, a lot of audiences, like especially children mm. Mm -hmm. so they are always with mobile and tablets and the minecraft case there's some minecraft case and they, that was a really nice to educate in a digital way mm. Mm -hmm. you mentioned the um, back to africa campaign and also just mentioned the minecraft campaign were these the most inspiring socially conscious projects this year were these the ones that really inspired you emotionally and to, you know, to upgrade humanity? One of the, yeah, great case is Volkswagen's um, Road Tales. Once upon a time, car rides used to look like this. But nowadays, they look more like this. So how can Volkswagen help bring imagination back to the backseat? by making children curious to look outside again. That's why we created Snowbergsprokjes, location-based audiobooks that bring the highway to life. Welcome to Schnellwerksprokjes! Look outside, do you see those blades spinning? We're entering the launch platform, hold on! Three, two, one, go! We scanned the entire Dutch highway system to identify thousands of lakes, all kinds of tunnels, windmills, and other landmarks along the road. We turned these ordinary objects into magical chapters in our stories. We used a computer vision algorithm to detect and tag all objects along the highway. These tags were used as triggers that influenced the story in real time. Kids just need to listen. Look at the forest. Do you see the deer? And let their imagination transform their surroundings. We worked in close collaboration with some of the best children's book writers in the Netherlands, who wrote hundreds of modular chapters, all triggered by objects along the road. Since each journey is different, every story is different as well, creating a unique tale for every possible route. In just four days, Snelwegsbroek has reached number one in the Dutch App Store books category. There are people who a meal. I see the meal! With a mobile idea that takes the child's eyes away from their mobile phones, we created 120,000 kilometers worth of imaginative journeys. That was also kind of um, educational uh, kind of uh, tool for children. And it's used utilize location information and during driving, so children use the mobile phone but not watching them into the mobile phone, but mm -hmm. it creates a, a story according to the location information. And children want to um, look outside, not, not into the mobile phone, but 
it show it yeah yeah it creates an audio story so and children and have to look outside according to see enjoy the story so that is a very yeah great invention to make children not into the digital world but to go look outside and it's a really great educational um, um, yeah smart way to utilize data mm. i love that yes yeah. Oh, great. So that was your favorite data-driven project? Yes, yes. Mm. Yeah, it was really uh, very impressive, very inspiring. How about AI? What was your most uh, favorite project uh, revolving around AI? The impressive one is C Sound. C Sound is a product innovation to make every sound, uh, to detect every sound, and to and make warning to the um, hearing challenging people so if some a window is broken then it detects the sound of the wind broken sound and sends a message to your mobile phone so it's good for hearing um impaired people but the they utilize ai in a smart way so the, mm. to utilize, use ai there is a we need to um, make ai learn with a lot of data and preparing the data is very difficult. But C sound case utilizes a lot of um, YouTube video and sounds. So there is a ton of um, not so funny, but so many sounds in the YouTube world. So they utilize a lot of YouTube video made by a lot of normal people. Mm. The video itself is not exciting, but there is a sound of crying or yeah. breaking or crashing. So, so that's a smart way to uh, use uh, AI learning data from YouTube. Mm. So for you, do you think AI and data are now pretty much one field? Are they interchangeable or are they separate? Almost really connected, actually. So AI needs data and mm. data can be used as is AI. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, let's talk about the judging process itself. Um, so for our, for our viewers, can you please tell us about the DNAD judging awards process as both president and participant? What's it like? Yeah. Uh, but this year was a special, so it's an online remote judging. Yeah. But for me, it was good to discuss a lot. So, uh, because everyone can um, equally speak up with you know, on the online world mm -hmm. and we can easily discuss um, about a case a lot so i think this year we, we could yeah have a lot of great fruitful discussion using the yes. remote judging mm. which projects inspired a lot of debate and reaction amongst all the judges um the one of the most yeah, discussed case was the, the paid forward I mentioned, the big mm. issue. Mm. Because some some jury member from technology background and think this is just a QR code, normal e-commerce case. So you can read the e QR code and make a payment, that's it. So so many people are doing this QR code payment. So some mm. technology people, jury member say that, but other people, think it's a really evolutionary invention of uh, supporting um, homeless people. So there is a very diff diff different angle, even in the digital people. So we discuss a lot of, from the technology point of view or social point of view or yeah, innovation point of view. Yes, and, yeah, and we enjoyed the, uh, the discussion very much. Nice, nice. Uh, taking on board what you've seen this year and everything you see every day in the offices at Dentsu, what kind of trends do you think we're going to see in digital in 2021? Maybe more yes. 5G, maybe more 5G related projects? Yeah, I hope so. 5G and yeah, we need faster transmission in this um, COVID age. But also we need, yeah, we should have a physical distance now and it means that we need an emotional connection in the digital space so, so yeah we need to yeah come up with a lot of 
um, connection idea to make people um, much more comfortable or to make brands and users much more connected. Mm. Mm. So this well, is a connection way, in, age. Mm. In, what ways can, in what ways can we do this? Um, yes. Uh, yeah, I think we, the, if brand can has a place to um, play with consumer users, that would be good to connect the people more. It's, it sh shouldn't be like a, a Minecraft or game space, but it can be an e-commerce space or it can be a, just a, a simple um, text um, conversation too. But mm -hmm. if brands can yeah, create a space like a shopping center, but the connection center, then people can enjoy um, the new connection in this age. Mm. Mm -hmm. Was there a project this year which really symbolized this for you? But the most of the winning case has that kind of place, like uh, Stephen Age has a game yeah. place to connect with, or Nike Emma graphic store has a real and digital space to, in, mm -hmm. to play with. Yes, yeah, like that. Most of the winning case has something to make mm -hmm. people connected. Mm. Definitely, yeah. Uh, just on to my last two questions. Uh, so we're speaking about the future, about 2021. And obviously right now, many, many graduates are leaving university at this time of year. Uh, what yes. would your advice be to graduates who want to work in digital? What should they think about? What should they be working on? Yeah, so yes, okay. Some people think digital is um, difficult or digital is only for um, technology people. But please don't be afraid of using technology because technology is everywhere. It's technology normal. And, and, and please don't use digital as it is because AI is for efficiency or mobile phone to um, speak with other people. But if you can invent a new way of using technology, that will be a great place to, uh, for creativity. Mm. So I think, you know, yeah for students to so, so university graduates, please hmm. use a lot of technology in a crazy way. And in, yeah, please invent a new creativity using technology. Then we can upgrade our society with them. You said technology is everywhere. Do you think coronavirus has introduced an older generation to more digital products, which means the marketplace might now be bigger? Do you think there's more people now who could be susceptible to it or more uh, open to a digital campaign? Or appeal uh, to the I digital think, I think so. Yes, yes, I think so. Um, it's unfortunately we had to stay at home and need to work remotely, but it makes all the people using digital, even elder people or senior people, and and it makes uh, yeah a lot of changes in our industry, and not only our industry, but in the all the society. So everything is much more digital and people think digital is normal, new normal, not part of a new normal. Mm. And now for my last question, Yasu, how would you like to see digital creativity develop in Japan? Yes. So, so far we, uh, um, we are good at creating a new technology, mm, our craft, but from now, uh, as I mentioned, we should develop a lot of, idea part to connect people and then together with technology and power idea i think yeah japanese tech digital creative can be much more exciting thank you very much that's all my questions uh thank enjoy the you. rest of your evening and uh yeah some great projects this year so i'm very excited to uh to see all those so thank you thank you hope it works thank you very much